Oh, he is going home on Friday. It's Monday. Um, but I've got him fully off leash now with the crew. So he's not on a training leash anymore. He's just loosey goosey. Um, he's doing a really good job. He's enjoying it. A lot of the time, if you're off leash recall, there's been a couple of things that you're doing um, that train the dog to run away from you when you call accidentally. Not that you're doing, not doing it on purpose. And then the other bit is that once you stop trusting the dog, you stop letting them off leash. So being off leash becomes this really exciting thing. And, uh, and, um, and so the dog, when they get off leash, they're like, I'm not going back on leash because they never get to go off leash. So, um, so because we've been doing lots of off leash hiking and I've been rewarding him tons, so lots of treats are coming back, which I suggest continuing. Um, he's listening to my voice, but sometimes that, that won't transfer over. I've done a bit of groundwork so that he's just, he's changed the way that he's thinking about being off leash, but he might still respond to your voices in the same way. So, um, so I'm gonna, I taught him a couple of little backup things with different words that I'll, uh, I'll show you one is a nose target um, to get him closer. But most of it is gonna be just trusting him again, not being nervous about him being off leash and, and trying to just, um, not even needing to call him, but just trusting that he's gonna come back. So not chasing him. I think it's gonna be your most important advice. Um, when I let him off leash in the front yard, he wants to go say hi to my neighbors, which I think is probably what's going on at your place too. Um, so what I do is just keep him on a leash unless I'm, um, I know that the neighbors aren't going to be out. And then I'll have him come to me a couple of times and then he can go check it out. I think he's got quite a bit of freedom at home, so... He's getting much better at staying in the yard. So last time I let him loose, he just, uh, he ran up and said hi to the neighbor, sniffed, and I was up there already. So he sniffed around next door and then he just came right back and I just picked him up. He was a bit cold because of the snow. Um, but down from, you know, trying to run around the whole neighborhood by himself to, to just going and checking things out and then just coming back. And I'm pretty happy with that at this point. Ah, puppies. Ah, puppies. Oh, poodle attack. Poodle attack.